guys welcome back to my channel MI tutorials in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create a dynamic x-axis and y-axis now what I mean by dynamic x-axis and y-axis so if you look at the slicer over here I have a couple of uh, columns from my data set category segment subcategory and state and on the y-axis I have my total profit I have total quantity and then I have total sales now let's say uh, you want to visualize the uh, bar chart over here by different uh, columns. Now I have segment selected and I have total profit. You can likewise go ahead and select category and uh, just by clicking on the slicer over here, the values of, uh, or the X axis over here changes to category. And likewise, if I click on subcategory, it changes to subcategory. And you on the, also on the Y axis, you have, you, you, you get the dynamic axis over here. You can take a look at what you want to, instead of creating multiple charts, you can simply click here on total profit and take a look at total profits. You can look at total sales and see what is happening with that particular category. And then if you want to look at total profit and total sales together, then you can probably have a cluster a clustered column chart over here and select multiple values over here so that you can visualize the total profit and total sales together in one particular chart so isn't this a really cool feature which you should have in your dashboard this will also help you avoid having multiple charts on your dashboard and hence uh, save up a lot of space on your dashboard so let's get started with this tutorial so the first thing that we will do here is we will go ahead and create a new parameter field. So to do this, you need to go to the modeling tab and click on new parameter and click on fields over here. Make sure that you're on the latest version of Power BI. This is the newest feature which is available. If you're on the old version, this might not be available for you. So let's go over here and click on uh, or name this as Y axis. Okay, and then let's add in all the fields that we want to play around with here. For example, I want category. I want, um, let's say, um, uh, I want, I want segment, I want subcategory, I want state, etc. So these are all the fields that I want to have on my X axis. And this is, uh, so I'm going to add a slicer to this particular page and then I'm going to click on create. So once I have that, so now I have a new uh, uh, slicer, which is created for the particular category. Now what I will do is I will go ahead and create another uh, parameter here under field parameter and then I'm going to go over here into the uh, parameter and type it in Y axis. Here you need to add all of your value fields. So I'm going to add total profit. I need uh, uh, total quantity. I need total sales and then I'm going to click on create and now I'll have another slicer here, which is called as Y axis, with all the values over here. Now let's go ahead and create a new uh, chart over here. Now what I will do here is instead of typically adding uh, city or and uh, total sales into my X axis and Y axis, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get rid of these and add in the new fields which we have created, which is X axis and bring that into the X axis and Y axis bring that into our Y axis. So once you do that, you will see something like this because we've not selected anything here. And then let's start selecting one by one. Let's select category over here and then let's select total profit here. And then you're now seeing the chart here by category and by profit. Let's say you want to analyze by subcategory. You can simply click on subcategory and that will change and the values will remain over here. And now let's say after analyzing the profit, you want to take a look at the sales. You can simply click on total sales and get the values over here. On the bar chart over here, let's turn on the data labels. So once you've turned on the data labels, you'll see the values here. And now you can look at total quantity. You can look at total sales. You can look at total profit by category or you want by state. You can do that by segment. You can do that. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.